2 Thessalonians 2, 1 says this, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. What day? Which day is that day? The day of Christ, right? See that in verse 2, the day of Christ? Except there come a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who, expo who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So before the day of Christ comes, right? Before the day of Christ comes, the man of sin will claim to be God. Basically, the abomination of desolation will take place, if you know the, uh, the context in the scripture. You know, where he basically uh, stands in the temple of God and says that he is God and so forth and sets himself up above all gods. This passage is a key passage here. It's clear, because a lot of people out there are teaching that the day of Christ is at hand, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And they teach a false doctrine, the day of Christ is at hand, Jesus can come at any moment. But then they try to separate, they try to separate, my friend, uh, the coming of Christ from the day of the Lord. They try to separate the two, even though they're not separate. But there are a lot of false teachers out there that want to separate this out. Well, the ESV does a great job of separating it out for them. Listen to the ESV in verse 2. Look down at your Bible. Not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed, either by a spirit or a spoken word or a letter seeming to be from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Okay, so did you get that? Now, instead of somebody deceiving you that the day of Christ is at hand, which means that it's about to happen, he's saying, don't let anybody deceive you, because the day will not come unless this, this, and this happens first. So don't let anybody tell you it's at hand. They've taken out completely the part about hand. Now the deception has become, well, don't let anybody tell you that it already happened. Right? Isn't that what the last words say? Read that last part again, just the last phrase, Brother Gary. To the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Okay, so that's a past tense now. They're saying, well, don't let anybody tell you that it already happened. No, the King James says, don't let anybody tell you that it's about to happen, because this stuff has to happen first. The ESV has totally changed that to saying, well, just don't let anybody tell you that it already happened.